how did we end up on this one? And suppose there are other worlds. Then ours is just a little piece of something much greater. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to make a TNT cannon. Uh, probably, this is the simplest way I actually know how to. So what you are going to need is a stone of your choice, a slab of your choice, and you're going to need redstone, redstone repeater, a button, a lever, pressure plate, uh, or whatever you prefer to use, water bucket, and approximately 9 TNT. So the, first I will begin by demonstrating how this rock, uh, how this cannon works. So as you see I have a wall there to absorb the impact, which I probably made a bit too fancy for this. But as you also see here, uh, in the connection. So here we go, and let's fire. stuff. Anyways, so uh, I'll take this down in a, in a moment. I'll show you how to build it yourself. Hey YouTube, now that the rain is over, which uh, it was raining and I figured out the command. I didn't know there's a page too because I didn't think of that. Anyways, so what we're going to do is going to go three by nine. So one, two, three. One, two, no, one, two, three, four, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Now at the ninth, you're going to put a slab in the middle. You're going to put another block of your choice. You're going to put a slab again. Then you're going to go down here. You're going to bring it all back and connect it. Now you can do this if you want. This is completely optional. But I like to change the bottom to the block I used. You can also do multicolor. Now next, you're going to put the water here in the beginning. I also suggest that when you build it, you do that. So when you place your TNT, when you do it rapidly, you don't place it on the source of accident and have to go get it in the source, which is why it's always recommended to have a source in the side somewhere. Of course, it can always be like a line without this. Yep, something like that. Anyways, uh, that was kind of pointless, just a side note there. So, next we're going to put another block here. You're going to put redstone on both sides and one on this block that you just placed. You're going to go all the way down to the end with these blocks. After this, you put no more redstone except for at the end here and on the side. Oops, on the side here. Next, you're going to put a uh, repeater. You can put them on any level you like, um, I think. But I like to put mine on notch two because to me it is perfect. So one, two, one, two. Next, I'm going to place my TNT here. Finally, you're going to have your button, switch, lever, uh, pressure plate, or whatever. If you have a pressure plate, of course, you're going to have to connect the redstone like that. Have the pressure plate there. But if you have a button, just click the button. If you have a lever, flick the lever. But I've done the reason why I don't like levers is because if you derp, oops, if you derp at all, and uh, and uh, you forget to turn the lever off and you place a TNT, it can be uh, pretty bad. So, all right. So now this is your basic look of how your TNT can will look, depending on the block choice of your choice. Now I'm going to shoot it again at the wall to prove to you that it works. Did you see? Thanks for watching and. Uh, Hope you comment, like, and 